What's going on everyone? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. And in today's video, we're taking a look at the Master Grade Ultron Gundam from Endless Waltz. Let's get into it. Oh, right. The mail's here. Yo, he's gone. Let's party. Yo, Mikey, you want some pizza? Radical, dude. Hey, Kakarot. What's up, Vegeta? Today's the day I will finally defeat you. Oh, hey. Everyone, back to your places. He's coming. Dude Retro Toy Reviews. Let's go ahead and take a look at this box art right here. And this is looking amazing. I love this artwork where it shows Ultron fighting Wing Zero. This just looks so, so cool. And on one of the sides, it just says Ultron Gundam. And on another side, it shows the same image that's on the front of the box. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and let's check this kit out. And as we open this box up, you see all of these glorious runners right here just waiting to be snapped together. Now here are the runners and first up here is runner A, runner B, C1, C2, D1, D2, E, F, G, H1, and you do get two of these, H2, I1, I2, I3, I4, J1, and you get two of these, J2, and you get two of these ones as well, XA, XB, and you get two of these ones as well. Here is the runner of polycaps. Here's your set of foil stickers. And here's your set of sticker style decals. And last, here is the manual. So if you are subscribed to the channel and you saw my last uh, Gundam model, then you know that I had just finished the, uh, ma the regular Master Grade uh, Shenlong. So now I'm getting into the uh, Master Grade Ultron. So I have a feeling this is pretty much going to be very similar to the Master Grade uh, Shenlong, just with slight differences. But I am still very excited for this. I love the look of this Gundam, so can't wait to put this kit together and check it out. So let's go ahead and snap this kit together and let's see how it is. All right, and here is Ultron fully snapped together. And this thing is looking awesome. I love this kit. I think it looks really good. I think it turned out really good. Um, and one thing I do want to say before I get into the review is I actually did snap this kit together live on stream on YouTube a few days ago. And it was a really fun stream. So if you want to come hang out on the next Building and Chilling live stream, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I am definitely going to do it again. I had a lot of fun and it was a good time. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit, uh, give the video a like and everything. But yeah, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this review. And as we get a closer look here on the Ultron Gundam, here's all the detail on it. Now this Gundam is actually very similar to the regular MG Shenron. Um, they're the only differences that I think there really are the dragon fangs right here where it has the double dragon fangs So this is definitely a lot different, but as far as the regular Gundam itself everything I believe is the same Um, the forms are a little different because there is a hole that go that's all the way through that form for this little bracket that the dragon fang attaches onto it there's a this bracket goes through the form. So that's really the only difference. Everything else I believe is the same. There are no stickers, there's no panel lining, nothing has been done to this. This has just been snapped together. So this is what it looks like straight out of the box. This is the sticker sheet that it comes with. And I wanna go ahead and show where all of these go. So of course you have the eyes, you have these sensors here. This one here goes up above the top of the head. And these two yellow ones will go one in the center right there and then right back here and then these black ones up here they go in here on the dragon fang on both sides on both dragon fangs that's where those black stickers go 
So besides that, that is all the stickers that you will have with this. And I don't plan on using these. I may end up using the black ones for the dragon fang, but all the ones for the uh, eyes and then sensors right here, I'm not gonna use those. I'm gonna end up painting instead. So let's go ahead and get into this articulation here. So the head looks up a lot, it's down, cocks side to side. The arm goes all the way around. There is a really nice butterfly joint right there. There is a bicep swivel, double elbow joint. There is a spin at the wrist. And there is a bend. There's not much of an ab crunch. There is a swivel at the waist. The skirts right here, they raise up and down. They move around and this piece right here just keeps falling off. It is going to be the death of me. I swear it is so annoying. I just, I, I, I hate that. These pieces right here on the skirts, the top part, they just completely just fall off all the time. Extremely annoying. So I would probably suggest just gluing those on so you don't have to worry about them coming off again really frustrating to deal with the flaps are on here in the back they move as well and of course you see it's this little part right here on top of the skirt is trying to come off the leg goes up goes back that far there is a nice double knee joint right there it goes out that far you're not going to get too much more just because this skirt right here it doesn't bend up too high to get out of the way it only goes up about that far so you're not going to get too much out of that leg out there is a thigh cut ankle pivot butt goes down butt goes up and the cockpit does open up there. If you see right in there, there is a little Wufei pilot. Now for the Dragon Fang itself, you have the teeth that go out just like so. They do have a lot of articulation on them. So you can put them in really whatever pose you kind of want them to go in. And you have this part right here. And all these little sections, they do articulate there's no wire this is all just little separate uh pieces that just connect to each other and to connect it to the arm of ultron you just have that little peg right there and on his arm here you have this like little attachment and it has that hole right there where that poly cap is and you just plug that peg right in there and that's how you would attach it onto the arm of ultron and this little like bracket attachment for the dragon fang it swivels so you can have them go out like that so that poly cap is there you can take one of the stands that comes with the ultron gundam plug it down on the bottom of the dragon fang take this plug it right in there And there you go. You have Ultron with his Dragon Fang extended out. So you can do some really cool posing with that. And you also have some more little extender pieces that you can add onto it to extend it out even further. And while we're on the topic of accessories, you get two widespread hands. Then you get two other like weapon holding hands. And these ones do have that little ridge on that inside there. And that is going to be for holding this awesome scythe pole arm thing that he comes with. And where that ridge is on that hand there, you would find this part right here. You would just plug that in there. And that's how he would, and that's how he would hold onto that pole arm. And you would just plug this onto the hand of Ultron. And here you have two little Wufei pilots. One where he's like 
in his normal clothes and you have another one where he's more dressed up in a uniform. And another little piece that you get, take that off. You have this little piece right here and you could insert this into this little hole here on the back. Just insert that on the back there. And you take the pole arm here and you just attach that on just like that and there and there you have it ultron with his double scythe weapon on uh on his back so that's really really cool and this one holds on a lot better than my mg shinron i'm not sure why i believe they're the same but this one holds on a lot better so that's all of the accessories and articulations. So let's go ahead and get started with this size comparison. So it looks like Ultron is standing just under six and a half inches tall. And for the first size comparison, here is the regular MG Shinron. And next up, here is the Gundam Universe Shinron. Go ahead and take him out of the way. And there he is next to a six inch scale figures. And that's the Lightning Collection Ryu Power Ranger. Take him out of the way. And here he is next to the Ultraman G from SH Figure Arts. And so that's gonna do it for my review of the Master Grade Ultron. Now this kit was really fun to build. I love the way this looks and the articulation on this is really good. Now sadly this is a P Bandai exclusive and I was able to get mine when they had a restock earlier last year. So sadly if you didn't get it on that restock you're going to have to wait for another restock or you're going to have to get it third party on eBay or through another reseller and it's going to be expensive. So that is one downfall to this kit. But if you're able to get your hands on it I think you're going to have a fantastic time with this. And just like that, the core Gundam team from Endless Waltz is complete. The designs from this movie were so cool and I love this movie so much. I watched this movie almost nonstop when I was a teenager and the Gundams from this looked so, so, so cool. Yes, I am missing Tall Geese 3, but I am so glad that I at least have the core Gundam team. And this makes me so happy every time that I look at it. So that is going to do it for my review. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Dude Retro, and I'll see you next time.